Good afternoon, it's Jeremy. It's Thursday, April the 8th. I'm just down at uh, Sheldon Lookout at the Humber Bay area of Toronto. Looks like Big Sur in California. Later on today, um, I'm going to try decoding HF weather facts using Open Plotter on the Raspberry Pi 3B with the uh, GQRX receiver and FL Digi. So we'll try that later on. Good afternoon, it's Jeremy. I'm back at my QTH now. And um, this is the uh, Buddy Pole HF antenna, which I'm using to receive the HF weather facts. And it's connected to an RG, RG58 cable, which goes inside my apartment. Let's go inside. So here we have my setup here. Right now I'm receiving Boston at 9110 kilohertz. This is my Pi Top, and I've got a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus in there. This is a heatsink, as well as connecting the GPIO to the circuit board. That's my GY91 uh, sensor board from the last post, and it's sitting on my Brazilian Portuguese dictionary, which is a nice flat surface. Um, this is the receiver I'm using. I'm using a second version new electric RTL SDR. Now it only goes down to uh, 25 megahertz, so I'm using an up converter here, a nano up converter, which knocks everything up by 125 megahertz. So on the um, uh, open plotter, I'm using the GQRX receiver, and I've compensated for the local oscillator of 125 megahertz by subtracting that from the frequency. And I'm also installed FL Digi as the DMOD and um, the uh, pulse audio uh, control for the um, sort of to monitor the output. So let's go to the workstation and we'll just look at this. Okay, so I'm at my uh, desktop um, laptop and I'm controlling the uh, Raspberry Pi uh, by a VNC server. And uh, here's Open Plotter. So in order to receive the HF weather facts, we need to add a few applications. So if you go into Raspberry Pi uh, preferences, add and remove software, the first thing you have to do is you have to find FL Digi and install it. And I've already done that, so let's look for it. FL Digi is the digital modem that will monitor the output of GQRX receiver and it will decode the weather facts so you can print it out. So that's the first thing you have to do. So it's just looking for it now. So that's what you'll see here, the FL Digi 4.1. This gets installed along with it, but initially you'll see this. So tick this off, press apply and install that. That's the first thing. And the next thing you have to do is install the pulse audio volume control. So search for Pavu control. Okay, so I've already installed it. So there it is, pulse audio volume control. So install that. Okay, so those two pieces of software you have to install. Now, since I've got a Raspberry Pi 3B and only one RTL. I'm using normally the RTL for AIS, so I have to go into SDR VHF, so open plotter, SDR VHF, and notice the AIS is installed. Go to processes, and I've closed it, but when I boot up, normally what happens is this is active, so I have to select this and stop it. So that way I can use my RTL with GQRX. If I don't stop this, I won't be able to access the RTL because it'll be um, it'll be taken up by the AIS program. Okay, so you stop that. If you're using two RTLs, then it doesn't matter. One can be on the AIS and the other one can be on the um, GQRX. So we'll go into now the GQRX. So there we go. Actually, I've already started it. So there's GQRX. Right now I'm receiving Boston at 9110 and I've lowered the carrier frequency. We'll see this in a minute. But one thing you have to do, let me just stop this from working for a moment. Let's go under the uh, configure IO devices. Now, um, when you uh, when you boot the GQRX, you have to find your particular uh, RTL. So there's mine. You might have a different um, a slightly different name on it, but that's the first thing to do. 
uh, the, the standard input rate is 1.8 mega samples per second, and I find that's too hard. It, um, the uh, GQRX audio cuts in and out, so I've, down, uh, I've lowered that to uh, 1.44 mega samples per second so that the audio remains constant. So that's one thing you're going to have to do. And you also set the uh, minus 125. Since I'm using an up converter, I'm using the nano up converter, which knocks everything up by 125 megahertz. I have to subtract 125 from the dial. So I put that in there. I say OK. And let's start this again. And I'll just go into the FFT here. There we go. Just zoom this out a little bit. Okay, so let's listen to this. I've got this hooked up to an audio amplifier. You can hear that in the background. So that's Boston at 9110. There's FL Digi. Let's go into FL Digi. Now with FL Digi, what you have to do is you have to go into the configure screen uh, under sound card and you want to use uh, pulse audio. So you tick that off, pulse audio, and close that. And then we're going to be decoding uh, WE fax. So on op mode, Go down here to WEFAX and IOC 576. That's what you want. It's already set up for that. Now I'm finding that FL Digi is not uh, not working a hundred percent the way I'm used to. Normally, what happens is you move this red bar over the two frequencies, but it's it seems to be stuck at the top here. So what I do. Um, I go into GQRX and I adjust this peak here till it goes right to the top of the red bar. Okay, so right now um, I've moved down uh, to a lower frequency because I've got a very strong signal. This is also from Boston. I've moved down to 6340.5 and I've adjusted. I'm in upper sideband here with. Um, I've got about 3.7 kilohertz of bandwidth. Uh, you could adjust that a little bit more. And what I've done is I've moved the carrier frequency below 6340 to around 6338. And what I'm doing is I'm adjusting this. So when I go into FL Digi, um, that frequency is right there. This red bar is, normally it moves and you can adjust it, but it seems in, uh, on the Raspberry Pi, it seems to be not working 100%. So all I've done is I've tuned it so the two frequencies fall at the end of that. So that's what you do. And right now I'm getting a very, very uh, clean weather fax signal from Boston. So again, we can get the weather fax on Open Plotter by using GQRX. You have to downsample a little bit. The 1.8 mega samples per second is just too much for the Raspberry Pi 3B. If you had a Raspberry Pi 4, you probably could handle the um, overhead of the GQRX, but it's just a little bit too much for the Raspberry Pi 3B. So I've down the sample rate. I'm using USB, and I'm receiving a signal from Boston, and I've installed FL Digi as a demodulator, and I'm using um, the pulse audio volume control so I can monitor the output of GQRX and feed it into uh, FL Digi. Now, uh, when these um, files are received, you can find them. Uh, there's a directory in FL Digi where it stores all the received files. I'll put all that information in the blog post as well.